What's up guys, Proper Truth here, and welcome back to the channel. So today, what you guys are going to be getting is my Dogmatica Invoke deck profile. Um, I went X1 with the deck last week in a tournament, and I was really impressed with how it played out, to be honest. You know, Dogmatica is practically an engine in most decks that use yet, use extra deck. Alter guys, Invokes. I'm even working on something with Mathmex with it, and it's, it's actually crazy. So you guys expect a deck profile with that one. But... It's actually a really good deck with the invoke because you control by negating and banishing with Mechaba and the board with a Winda and just a, a Fleur de Lis in your hand as well with nothing but back row. So it's actually a really fun and cool deck to play with. I ended up in fifth place with it. I was one away from top four, but I ended up in the top eight with it and I haven't hit top eight in the tournament in a while. So enough said let's get straight to this deck profile before we do don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and if you're new to the channel show some love by hitting that subscribe button that notification button as well you guys ready let's go all right guys so let's get straight to it first up play i'm playing three virtuous uh in any dogmatica engine you have to play three she's your uh stratos she searches not only for monsters but any of the dogmatica cards Really, really good. Have to, and she can't be destroyed by battle with monsters, and that that's from the extra deck. So, three virtuous. I call her virtuous. I know uh, everybody else calls it uh, is 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 Licia. I call her virtuous. Next up, two uh, Fleur de Lis, Dogmatica Fleur de Lis. Uh, really, I, some people are going back and forth between one to two. I like two. I just like to see it, even though you can search it. Because sometimes if you have it in your hand, uh, you want to search uh, another Dogmatica card with uh, Virtuous. But I like playing two. It, was, it wasn't a bother playing two on top of that. All your Dogmatica monsters gain 500 whenever one of them battles. So, really good card. If the moment you uh, flash and summon, if the summon is successful, it's automatically negating something on board. So this is your out to Dragoon a lot because uh, Fleur de Lis doesn't target. So if you force Dragoon's uh, effect, and from there you can actually be able to go off by uh, uh, flashing, summon, negate. Really, really good. So I like playing too. Uh, you, it's your 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 preference. Then one Maximus. Uh, I was playing Maximus at two. I, I I went down to one. Most builds are playing one, and I realize why is because it's like it's not really crucial like it's really good because you can thin out your opponent's extra deck and then you're triggering out your um nc really really good card on a great 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 defense and um just the fact that playing more than one it's not it's not really you don't really need to to be honest again it is searchable so one maximus so that's it for the dogmatica off to the invokes you're just playing the three alistairs uh the invoker uh, I can't wait till we get this in the gold. Like, I'm dying to get gold. First, I was looking for secrets, and nobody had secrets. Now that I saw the gold, I don't even want the secrets no more. So I'm waiting to get the, the gold. It looks so cool in this 3D. The, all, the artwork is amazing. But anyway, three. Alistair the Invoker, searching for your invocation, and be able to go off from there. Then off to the hand traps. I'm maining three Nimbirus. Maining three Nimbirus is like amazing in this deck, especially like if you lose the Dyro like I always do. I always lose the Dyro. Going Nimbiru on your opponent's first turn is the most funniest thing, especially against uh, uh, Dragon Links if you do it the right way. Sometimes they can play around this to be honest, but it will play through it. But it's really, really good against any other deck like going up against PK Fire or any other rogue deck that, that can be an issue. So um, I main three, it's really good. Also, it's a light target if it's in your graveyard uh, for Mechaba and stuff like that. Next up, three Ashes, self-explanatory. I don't need to explain Ash, Ash is Ash. Three is perfectly fine. Then the next hand trap is two Ghost Ogres. Ghost Ogres, uh, I'm looking for OTs by the way, if anybody got, let me know. But um. Two is fine. I was maining three when I first built the deck, but then I was like, oh my god, I have too many hand traps going on in this deck. I had answers for everything, but I just couldn't go off because every time I drew, I drew into a hand trap. So two is awesome. Ghost Ogre is so crucial in this format. Now it's just, it's so good. So two is fine. Off to the spells. You're playing your, um, 
your fuel spell engine right here. This is the, I'm putting the terraforming because this is pretty much the package right here. Uh, meltdown, one terraforming obviously because it's at one, three meltdowns because it's, it's really good. And they, your opponent can't stop your, um, they can't be, in, they can't respond to your, to the summoning of your, any fusion monster. So that goes for either invocation or schism at the same time. So really good, really good. And then the best card to me in this deck is uh, the Dear Servant. Shout outs to, uh, I didn't get to say it before, but shout outs to Proper Lies. He swapped me all his um, Euro Dogmaticas uh, to me because I've been dying to get my hands on Euros. So shout outs to you, Proper Lies. Um, good cards and a monster from the extra deck. And you get to search a, monster, a Dogmatica monster from your deck with uh, attack equal to or less than the one you just sent to the graveyard. So you'll actually send your NT, uh, your NT uh, to the graveyard to affect the, the pop or something, or send your, um, what's his name, um, Applicone, Applicone? Applicone, I can't even say Applicone. <laughs> I sound like I'm trying to say another language. Um, to get to Shizum, and then you'll pitch the Shizum out your hand, and you're gonna go and summon Maximus, and you go and send your Shadow Construct, get the Shizum back to you. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, nutty, nutty. So, um, definitely gotta play three. Definitely gotta, no questions about it. Then you're playing your Triple Tactics. Shout outs to South Paul for swapping me a Euro. He gave me Euro Tactics, so I'm loving it right now. So, uh, this card is amazing. Like, I can, I can understand why this card so is up there in price because it's just, you. it's your answer to, again, Dragoon or to anything else. If you know that you got, you're gonna go off. If after they ask you, and you're like, okay, they might have an Nimbiru in hand. Pluck out that Nimbiru, or just go and get a pot of greed out of it. Like you know, especially if you you have a bad hand, you want to see if you can get your resources out your deck. So it's like the three for one deal. I'm loving it. That's why I call this. The, a lot of people call it the triple T's. I call it the three for one deal. So definitely that. Then uh, I'm playing triple droplets, uh, just like tactics. This is uh, an amazing card. Opponent, you activate this, your opponent can't respond to it. If you buy whatever card you pitch, so if I'm negating a monster and I pitch a monster, your opponent's monsters can't respond to it. Really, really good card. Negates the effect, cut in the half, so it's easy to beat over a lot of beat sticks. Um, it kind of sucks in a way. It didn't suck, but it, like to get over Dragoon with this, it's it's like a problem. Like in this deck, like I have to do something. My opponent would negate it, then I'll go reveal Fleur de Lis, special and negate it from there. And then like if I want triple tactics, and now it's affecting the gate, you could target him and then cut in half if you need to get over it. So it's like sometimes you gotta waste two to three cards just to get over one card. So, but everything else, this card is nuts. Like it's really good, really really good. Then two invocations. Uh, two is fine. You don't need to play three. Remember, guys, this guy, this card recycles. So, really good. Got any OTs? Let me know. And then the one called by the grave because it, it helps. Like uh, Omega and, and SS Hot Potatoes could tell you. And even though even though it proper lies, because they were all sitting around my table in, in the final in the final round, because I was going up against Dragonlings and he kept summoning Striker Dragon. And I had answers to, he went through three Striker Dragons. I first I impermed it, the second one I flew the least, and this one, and the third one I actually called by the grid, the other one they gave it. So he couldn't get through, he couldn't get his full combo just cause, you know, the last Striker got hit by a call by the grid. So really good card still, really good. Off to the traps, you're playing your triple imperms. Have to, impermanence is a must, another hand trap. So I should have put this with the hand traps. But really, really good card. Have to, have to. Then your one schism, because you that's how you bring out your Shadow uh, window or your construct out of this. Have to. And it also sends the a monster from your opponent's board for whatever attribute you summoned. Then uh, some people didn't agree with me on this, but it helped in the tournament. Two punishments. Punishments is it, once you establish board, it really doesn't matter. So once you establish board, set punishment, you're gonna go off, you're gonna send your NC, uh, NC and then you're gonna get two pops out of that. Yeah, and you know, it, it's so, so good to me that I feel like you have to play two. Most decks are just playing one, cause again, it is searchable with Virtuous. But I 
like again, I want I want to play two because if I have one in the hand, maybe I can search for the least with virtuous. So that's what I'm saying. Like I like to have options open, and as well to me, it's just a, such a good card. You for the price of one, you're getting rid of two. Well, technically, you're breaking even because you're getting rid of your NC. So two punishments, and then the one that was really clutch was uh, summon limit. Once you establish board and you set your punishment and summon limit, that's it. Your opponent shouldn't. It's, unless they like. Uh, uh, Harpy's Feather or Lightning Storms, your back row or whatever, you still have a chance to negate it if you have a spell in your hand, a hand with, and you have Mechaba. But once you do that, it's really hard for your opponent to get through because once they summon, they got one more summon, and then whatever they're gonna summon second, you're gonna pop with Punishment, or you're gonna negate with Imperm, or you're gonna banish with Mechaba, or you're gonna negate with Fleur de Lis, Ogre, Ash, it doesn't matter. So it, this, this is so cool. Like, I, I, I love it. Um, shout outs to you, Raymond, if you're watching. Raymond actually used the deck this week in the tournament, and last week I ended up X1 with it. This week he ended up top eight with yeah, he ended up in the top eight with my deck. I loaned him my deck. He took this out. He didn't. He said he had his uh, you know, his sense to it uh, why he believes he, he we shouldn't play, but it helped me in in my previous tournament. So I decided to put it back just to test it to see what he was talking about. But it's really good. I want to put the Dragoon package in here, but because that's what he did, he 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 put it to his likings. It was his preference what he did with my deck. He he put his um his his Dragoons in it, and look, he ended up in, in top in top eight with the deck. So you know, it's just to me, it kept being a brick when I first started doing it. So I guess like I'll try it out again, see how it works. So I think it's 41 cards, guys, off to the extra deck. One Titan lad. Uh, you don't need to play more than one. Uh, Titan Light is really good. It's your road at your end phase or your special summon at your end phase. Then you're playing two uh, NC. Uh, this is what I was talking about with the punishment and uh, the servant. Like, you can do all this to get three pops. And with punishment, you're getting two pops. So, really good. The one Winda. Um, Winda is Winda. Like, your opponent can't destroy by card effects. And. It's actually stopping your opponent. So this with, with, with summon limit is even more annoying. Trust me. And if you got hand traps in your hand, even worse. Then one Alpacone. Uh, uh, this is the one I was telling you about also with, with Servant. That you send your Shism. And then you send the Shism to the grave. And then you get what you call a Construct to, um, to return it back to the hand. So these two, love it. Then uh, one Skull Knight, Skull Knight is in here just like um, for NC, but NC gets to pop a card on board, he pops a monster. So sometimes you need that extra pop by banishing him out of the grave and pop a monster on board. Then um, one, how do you say this guy's name? Augadil, uh, Augadis, Augadis? One invoked Augadis, whatever. Uh, summon, when he's special summon, you pop a, when not not when he's special summon or a monster is special summon to your opponent's side of field, you could target one monster your opponent controls and pop it. Awesome card, it clears the board, two thousand attack, great defense with twenty eight. So uh, he's in here because he's another light target. He's also a board uh, a spot removal. So really really good. One um, Purgatrio because you do you are playing Ash. Purgatrio clears the board as well. So um, and he he gets buffed up for two every card on your opponent's side by 200 so have to because everybody's playing ash so the board wiper and then two uh mechabuzz mechabuzz is mechaba negate banish i had in my in my the tournament that i played last week it was a ruling that um basically like you if you're under if you're under lancia you can't negate and banish because you you're lancia you can't you can't banish so I let it go through whatever and then like when I joined the tournament again the next day I was told that yeah you my opponent summoned Mechaba I Lancia and he said yeah you can negate but you just I just don't have to banish because I activate Fleur de Lisa in the hand he went to negate and I told him he can't do that because of Lancia he's like no it does negate it's just Fleur de Lisa stays in your hand so it was another ruling. So I had two different rulings, and I, I gave him the win. That's why I went X1. Otherwise, I would have went undefeated. But I went X1 because of that, just because of that stupid ruling. When I tried to explain to him that you can't do it because I tried doing it yesterday, and I was told you can't do that. And I was told by a judge. So I, 
I actually reached out to my homeboy Jimmy. Jimmy said no, he cannot. He can't even attempt it because of the fact that Lance here was pitched. So I still don't know what's going on with these rulings. I'm gonna listen to my man's Jimmy. Jimmy is a head judge, so he knows what he's talking about. But if you guys actually have your opinion, please let me know. That's why I'm bringing this up because I want to know what y'all think. Can you banish under Lance here with Mechaba, or can you not? So let me hear what y'all y'all think. So I I believe you can't because you can't even attempt it because it says negate. Whatever you're negating, and then if you do, banish that target, that, that banish that monster or card that you negated. So let me know what y'all think about that. Then the one Omega and the one uh, Nova. This is more for like mirror match right here. Nova is for like mirror matches and stuff to bring out your Omega. But and this is recycle, so you could be able to use your NC again. You know any of that? Your Skull Fossil King, dude. And then the only links is your Al Mirage and your Gard Gardner. This is how you get your whole invoke with the Mechaba play, and then you go off with the Dogmatica engine from there from like Virtuous. So you summon Virtuous after you get the Mechaba, and you go off from there. And then whatever else is in your hand, hand traps, punishment, imper, it's even just extra on top of that. So 15 an extra deck like all these guys. And um, let me know what you guys think about this. This is, uh, this is actually became one of my favorite decks alongside with uh, BAPK. And I love it. I love it. I've been using this a lot in tournaments. And I will be giving you guys a profile uh, with PK, my BA PK. Uh, I just got to wait for um, Oscar to give me back my OT11 air. Like, I can't, I feel like I can't give a profile without it. So, thank you guys. So, there you guys have it. My Dogmatica Invoke deck profile. Like I said, I went X1 in the tournament with it. Only reason why I did was because of that ruling with the Mecha. But I let it slide. I feel like if I didn't let it slide... You know, and I just kept fighting for it. I would have definitely went undefeated after that. But I let it slide because it was just like I kept hearing one thing from one judge, then hearing it from other people, and the judge was like, "Let me go to the judge lounge." And I was like, "You know what? Just, just do it already." Like I, I, I was gonna strangle people already. So I let him get it. He actually, because I let him get it, he won the duel, and I went X one with it. Deck is really good. Again, shout outs to you, Raymond, for going to the top eight with it. Uh, this week's tournament and he did really well he did really well with it he put his own tweaks to it and like I said adding the dragoon engine and stuff like that only reason why I did it was because I didn't like to keep seeing the bricks so your guys preference if you want to add that if you guys believe it is I'm gonna try it again see how it works from there but other than that I do hope y'all enjoyed this deck profile and if you did don't forget hit that thumbs up button and guys let's hit this 2,000 subscriber mark I'm like literally literally that close so show some love hit that subscribe button if you if you're not subscribed already hit that thumbs up button if you guys did enjoy this deck profile like i said before guys thank you for watching thank you for tuning in and i hope to see you at the next video later